yesterday, um, just after you came down from the podium by Jared Oates, uh, to look him in the eye and tell him that you hadn't taken any doping product, which coming from Jared Holtz is really extraordinary, and but a, a reflection, a reflection on where the sport is now. Um, one example. I'm just being naive here, but what's the Dave, you're many things, you're not naive. Um, yeah, so you can answer that, and you did answer it. Um, and I don't know if you were aware of the booing before the start. There was some booing at the start of the stage yesterday. What, I, what I'd like to know is, Bradley Wiggins is on record as saying that the association with Geert Linders last year was a good thing, and that he is a good thing to be associated with. So what is your position on that? And how angry do you feel? There's a lot of the scepticism about your team is built on that association with Linders last year. Who are you asking? I'm asking Chris. Oh. Sorry. Association with Landers. I, I personally didn't have much contact with Landers, so I, I can't really comment. Um, but naturally, people are going to ask questions whenever in cycling, given the history. Whenever there are great performances, they have been linked to doping in the past. So naturally, now we're bearing the brunt of a lot of those questions. But. Personally, I feel the sport has moved on. I know what I'm doing is right. I know how I've got ready for this Tour de France. I know the stage I won two days ago. I know that result will never be stripped. Outside of that, I don't know what else I can do to... I think, Paul, that the reality is that, that, that the whole Linders thing is my responsibility. It's not Chris's responsibility. And I'll say that squarely on his chin. And I think if anybody should be asked that question, it should be me, really. And, you know, it's something I regret. It's a mistake I made. I think I've held my hand up and recognised that mistake. Um, it allows people to ask exactly the question which you're totally entitled to answer. Uh, to ask, sorry, which I think is fair enough. Um, and, um, you know, I shouldn't have done it. You know, I made an error of judgement, quite frankly. You know, but somebody, again, you, somebody looks you in the eye and they lie to you, and we went through all our process and lie to you, then, you know, we know now. And, and, and I'm, I'm pretty angry about it, quite frankly. You know, I think um, it, it has put... You know, it, that decision by myself and the rest of the management staff has put Chris in a position where he has to answer questions like you've just asked him. But that's not his fault, to be fair. That's my fault, really, isn't it? You know? Any more questions? Yes, Chris. Um, just, to, just to follow up on that, um, when you were asked after your stage win, uh, you said that the sport has changed and you should be asking people five, ten years ago. Um, you know, I was ask, asking questions of those people. Among those is Alberto Contador, and he was asked that um, just just now if he'd ever taken any products, and he, his answer was, you can believe what you want, but I've always practiced clean and I continue to do so forever. Is that a credible answer coming from someone who has tested positive? I don't know what he's done or what he hasn't done. Um, yes, he served the ban, but I, I can't comment further on that. I, I don't know the, the intricates of of the case. So that, uh, I think there definitely do need to be questions asked about performances in the past where guys have been very successful and are no longer at that same kind of level, given that the sport has only cleaned up since then. So that's, that's for you guys to figure out. And also, I think, I think you know, we recognise fully, you know, we're, we're all, at the end of the day, you know, we all know the level of suspicion that there is in around in around this sport, and it's only right that we have to sit here and answer questions. It's only right that we have to take it on the chin, um, unfortunately. But that's that's reality. I think you know you're going to have two. If you took the whole you know cross section of the, of society, you're going to have the extremely positive people who, who are the 99th percentile who just might be punching them in the face. That's going to be positive. So I thank you very much for that. And at the other end, you're going to have this extremely cynical. Uh, part of the population which will remain cynical doesn't matter what you do and and in the middle you kind of got the balanced people who actually will debate and look at things and look at issues and you know make their own judgments and look at facts and try and establish facts etc etc and that's where you know I think that debate around that is, is fully justified and we have to accept that the you know the questions about our performances are, are legitimate questions and it's totally reasonable that people would raise such questions and I think we'd, we'd be crazy to deny that you know